Hi everyone, Great Power 60 here. Welcome to another Tea With Me Tuesday. Oh, the stuff I've been going through. I haven't really been doing a lot of um, crafting. I played around a little bit, um, but I've been emptying boxes and going through what I want to throw out, what I want to donate, what I want to keep, you know, the usual three tier thing. Um, I came across these here I had made a couple of years ago and here's another one the same thing only the opposite way around kind of just decorated them a little bit all they came with was the two skis and the two poles the two skis and the two poles and I just crisscrossed them and uh decorated them yeah I haven't done that kind of thing I found the little horseshoes what else did I do I was making a mess over here I was just trying to remember where I put them I don't know let me think let me think um little wooden hold on a second here let me see if they're handy on my desk what I did. Oh, I know what I did with them. I put them in. I put them in the original box that came in. Um, remember those ugly? I call them ugly. Um, wooden mittens that came with the the metal. I don't have one. I don't have one here handy. But anyway, I decided to. Uh, paint them and uh, this one here yeah and I painted this gold here and then I just added some fur on here to make as a little hanging mitten you can hang it on the tree that was one this was another one that I did here yeah I was just playing around with them there I have to sand them down. The the stars come off of them, and I took the other stuff off. Anyway, I haven't been doing much because I have been going through a lot of uh, a lot of stuff. Going through a lot of packing and throwing and donating and. Uh, things I'm finding is absolutely amazing but uh, because things were kind of thrown in these big containers uh, a lot of stuff was mixed up so now I've got I've got my big I can't believe I have so much but I've got a big container um, I took a sharpie and I marked it for Halloween so that's my big Halloween one I've got a smaller container um, that's Valentine and another one that's Easter. Um, what else? Oh, the Christmas one. I mean, I have like four huge containers, but some of the stuff is old. Um, I think I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to donate it, a lot of it. Um, but I'm finding things that I can use to create whatever create something <laughs> I'm really tired I didn't sleep well last night now today's Monday I'm I'm filming a, a day ahead <laughs> I washed my hair last night and of course I had to sleep in curlers I had to sleep in rollers because I decided to do that at about 11 o'clock last night so I had to get up at 7 o'clock this morning drop the car off to get fixed so if if it's only one thing if it's only breaks and pads, um, it's going to cost me about five hundred dollars. But if it is, if I need new calipers, which are about two hundred and fifty dollars each, it's going to bring it all the way up. I'm hoping the calipers are okay. I don't have the money for it, and my daughter has offered to to pay. I didn't want her to, but she said, "Mom." After all the years since the kids have been born, you've never asked me for anything. And 
it's the least I could do is to help you out right now. It's just, you know, I've, I've mentioned it before. There's a lot of, you know, a lot of things that had to be paid. A lot of things had to be adjusted, uh, since mom passed. So, and I got to have my tea because the walk, I mean, my, thank God the garage is close. It's about a 10, 15 minute walk, but I'm not a walker. So yeah. So that was hard on my hips. I gotta remember to tuck in your tummy, tuck in your tummy, tuck in your butt, stand up straight and walk. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. So, um, I, I've got, a, I've got a horde of a mess. I've got a horde of a mess there. I've got a horde of a mess there. I had these baskets outside, um, with, uh, uh, fake flowers in it that I was decorating my balcony with, um, a couple of the containers. I had a little bit of gold spray paint left and I spray painted a couple of containers, but of course they are not close by of course not why would they be anytime I want to talk about anything it's not close by yeah so um yeah I've got a lot of stuff I I put some things in this bag this is a bag of kind of kind of odds and ends that I found that like these stickers, I found these stickers, and I mean, they're just examples. I found some ribbon, uh, some games, um, lots of stickers, lots of, lots of things that I could be using, you know, in, in my, some, oh, sorry, and bags. Um, I have these bags, and I thought... Ooh, that should not go on there. And I thought I could use these as a, uh, and create one of those bag journals people do. People do. People. Some people use them. Bags. And a lot of these little wooden things. I've had these for years. I've had, I'm just trying to think. Oh, and I also... Oh, that's not the one I was looking for. That's what's in the other bag. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Too bad. Too bad. And the other. Yeah. And here are some of my brads, my Christmas brads that I found. Um, and I found a bunch of these little... Yeah. yeah, lots of, I'm finding lots of odds and ends. I'm finding a lot of these mini, uh, miniature things. This is a nativity one. But, uh, yeah, I'm finding things that should be put in, in a, a, a different spot. I don't think I got, no, I didn't bring the other bag. Did I? No, no, I didn't bring the other bag. But anyway, sorting through stuff is really being, is a real pain in the, in the neck. A real, a real hassle. But I'm starting to realize that not only do I have to pack uh, for my son to move. Sorry, the sun is coming in over there. <laughs> uh, my son, my hair looks golden, but it's not. <laughs> Let me just fix that. I just put the blind down. Yeah. Trim, trimmed my, trimmed my bangs. Yeah, so that's what I have been up to, uh, going through stuff and trying to 
organize my craft stuff, trying to get rid of things that are not necessary, and to use use some of the the things that I have. So um, I'm pretty tired today. I you know anytime I have a major thing I have to do, whether it's a doctor's appointment, uh, look after my grandsons, bring my car in, whatever. I don't sleep well the night before. I finally fell asleep at three o'clock and of course I set my alarm because I was afraid because I said I'd be there at seven. So, um, yeah, I, uh, left my car there at seven o'clock this morning, 10 after seven, I guess, and walked home and, uh, now I've got to walk back to go and get it. But, uh, I'm hoping that the calipers are not necessary, but you know, it is what it is. It's an older car. It's starting to go. But once they're done, and one thing that I realized is that uh, they uh, they have lifetime of warranty on their brakes. So if anything goes wrong um, with them, uh, they'll replace them. So I'm glad about that. What else? Yeah. Um, yesterday was Mom's 94th birthday. I put it on my community page. I put it on my Facebook page. Um, I had a good, a good cry. I had a good teary day yesterday. Um, it's still, um, difficult. And, uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, someone was saying... I, I found in my Christmas stuff, I found these cinnamon sticks that I had bought a couple of years ago. And they said if you boil it and put it in a spray bottle, you get this beautiful cinnamon smell. So I haven't um, tried it on very many things, but um, I mean, it smells good, but... Um, I really like the pine smell. I like the sort of that kind of smell. So um, I did find a package of um, pine smelling sticks that you can put in things. And I usually, when I buy those, I buy them to put in the containers that I bring down into the storage room so that, you know, they smell nice. Um, hopefully ward off any bugs, but it, like I said before, I have never seen any, not even, not even a spider, not a spider's web, nothing down there. It's quite um, climate controlled there. Um, yeah, what else is new with me? Oh, and I, my little purple book. I don't know what I did with it. I can't find it. It's my book that I keep ideas in, things I want to talk to you about, and all kinds of stuff. So I picked I well I've got so many I I've got notebooks everywhere little notebooks everywhere I had uh, put uh, washi on this and put that in my drawer and it's just a writing pad that I use for notes and right now the only notes that are on here are what I have to do Sort through plastic containers, trash keep, donate, keep, uh, take, keep items and categories and organize. Yeah, like that is a big job. Do my laundry, clean out the bathroom, uh, organize that, uh, label some boxes and containers with the date 2024. Yeah. So, but I don't know what I did with my cute little, little, um, I was hoping it would be right here, and it's not, and it's not, and that is so sad, because I always kept it here, but yeah, uh, sorry, it's boring, um, things to do, oh, I, um, there's a couple of things I want to try, and one of the things I didn't know, and I don't know how many of you know, but um, 
I've used um, tea dye, coffee dye, uh, dyeing paper. Um, I've used colored um, food coloring and, um, of course, painting and so on and so forth, things like that. But what I didn't know, I was uh, I was watching someone, and I don't remember who it was. Could have been Tony. I don't remember. Uh, she irons her paper. And I thought, well, yeah, it makes it nice and smooth and easier to cut and not so wrinkled and blah, blah, blah. So that's, that's what I did the other day. I uh, took out my iron and, uh, you know, I had a, a, a cloth, um, a rag cloth that I use. Um, and parchment paper on the top and just ironed over it and they turned out really nice and I actually I had bought this container this divider a long long time ago never liked it um, so now I have my digitals in here and I have my dyed papers in here um, not all my digitals, just recent ones because I'm too lazy to go like three feet over there to put them away. But a lot of my different papers and so on. And I ironed, I ironed all of my paper. This is one, I don't know if you can tell the color, maybe with the sun. Uh, it's green and I found a couple of doilies. These were um, not paper doilies, they were like a canvas doily. And I just kind of made some fun little um, designs on there. I kind of tried, tried with a couple of things, but all of my all of my tea dyed papers, most of these are I ironed them all. I ironed all of my little papers. So now that I have them, and I what I loved was the green. I loved the green. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, I don't want to lose those. Um, again, this is green. You can tell. And there's some blue. And here is the... Okay. This is the doily. Again, the sun's coming in right there. Uh, that's the doily. And that's the color the doily got when... Uh, dying with the uh, food coloring put that back in that spot and this was a lighter a lighter green not quite as dark i tried the paper ones no good no good um i printed off a few now my my printer is color i because i think because i print so much in color um the color is not no longer the color it's supposed to be. It's uh, it's turning out to be purpley, bluey, whatever. It's not the exact color that it's supposed to be when I'm printing off. But um, yeah, a pretty exhausting day today. I was gonna go right back to bed, and I thought, no, I better, I, <laughs> I better film my tea with me Tuesday so you guys will. Um, have a video for tomorrow. I have no videos for this week. I'm a bad girl, but I get so busy with my stuff. And um, it's hard to organize in here when you have furniture that's not going in storage just yet. Um, and it's hard. Um, and you guys have seen, like I've shown you before, whoops, over there. <laughs> Um, that's all, what my TV I have got. This curio cabinet way over here, this tall one here, I have uh, emptied it and packed away stuff that's in there. And it's in there were knickknacks that I got when I was in Germany with my ex-husband in 1971. And I have Hummels. I have uh, very popular, very, very popular at the time that we uh, were over there. Um, I packed those all away, and then I thought, you know, 
I should try and put them up for sale and I priced them on uh, Etsy and uh, yeah they were uh, they were not as expensive as they were when I first was gonna sell them it was in the uh, 1980s and uh, the one the one Hummel that I have was or actually the one Hummel that I was that I gave to my mom I paid like I'm just gonna say ten dollars I don't know how much it was it might have been twenty dollars and they were selling for like fifty to seventy five dollars for the same thing that I have today twenty dollars maybe fifteen dollars it's a damn shame that they are collectibles and it's it's almost like I want to pack them away and and have them saved for future generations like maybe maybe not my grandsons but maybe their wives or their children might want them someday and they may be worth something because they are collectors items I've got a whole set of wine glasses with the little Hummel man underneath and uh, some people are selling two for twenty twenty dollars I think on Etsy and stuff and I'm thinking you know they're they're only worth what they're worth for collectors that's all I guess so and I'm not gonna open an Etsy shop I tried that a couple of years ago um, quite a few years ago I tried the and I didn't like it I didn't like the fact that you have to worry about packaging, worrying about shipping costs, things like that. So I thought if I, if I sell anything, uh, I'll sell it locally. I did have a lot of Bohemian uh, and pinwheel crystal that my grandmother had for years, and I've sold a few pieces. What I did is I made a picture of all of them that I want to sell and I just put fifty dollars and then at the bottom line I said can be sold individually so uh, and then I gave them the off uh, option to offer offer me I'll accept it or not right um, and one of the one of the bowls uh, a lady offered twenty dollars for and uh, I said sure and I gave her a little there was there's a little salt uh, not salt and pepper uh, cream a cr little creamer and a little sugar I added that with her now I could have not done that I could have just given it to her but I thought you know um, she was being reasonable with the price and uh, I know I probably could have got more for it but I'm not gonna haggle 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 over things that I'm trying to get rid of you know uh, I put that unit I told you last week I think I put that unit up for free nobody nobody wants it so my son and I decided we're just going to pack it up and drop it outside maybe somebody I should take a picture and maybe somebody in the apartment might want it uh, I could put just for free you know um, who knows so that's what I've been up to I am tired I think I'm gonna go and lay down um, the car won't be ready it's 8 o'clock in the morning now and the car won't be ready till about noon so I think I'm just going to finish my cup of tea and um, and go have a lay down for a couple of hours and uh, see how it goes anyway that's it for me for today uh yeah um the big elephant in the in the room is my big sofa which is here and if i could move it into the dining area i'd be able to reorganize my craft space move mum to a really nice spot right there um yeah and uh people often ask me um not often but 
family people have asked, you know, uh, when I'm going to bury mom because her plot is paid for, totally paid for. It's the other funeral stuff that's not paid for. But her plot and, and, and the whole burial thing is paid for. Um, I wasn't ready to let her go. And then I almost thought about her birthday and then I thought, no, that's too emotional for me. So we're going to do it in the spring. Um, I think she'll feel better. I, I think she knows that I need her. But um, she also needs to be rested. And uh, I know a lot of people keep their urns at home, but because they've already paid for it, because where they're going, where mom is going to be buried is a very important place for her. It's in the military um, cemetery area, and her whole life was military, her whole life. I mean, not as a young girl, but her, her married life. I mean, my father was military. David was military. Mom worked for the military for 40 years, you know. Um, she might as well have been part of the whole, you know, thing anyway. Um, and I know that's important to her. So um, that'll, that's what we're going to do. And that's it for me for today. Thanks for joining me. I do appreciate you coming back every Tuesday. I'm sorry it's not much today. Just to let you know, I've got laundry to do. Oh, I hate doing laundry. I really... It's not that I hate doing laundry. I hate going, dragging it downstairs into the basement, going to the laundry room. If there's something available that you could throw your laundry in. And when mom was here, I kept my laundry up a little bit better because it was something for us to do together. She enjoyed that and she helped me, you know. Um, and she liked helping, you know, and, and she enjoyed that. But now that it's just me, it's like, oh, i got to drag this thing downstairs. And, yeah, I'm whining again, aren't I? Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And uh, uh, I'll try and get some videos up. Um, I'm, I'm too embarrassed to show you how I'm trying to clean out and and go through all my stuff and try and figure out what I'm going to uh, pack away. I still got boxes downstairs I've got to bring up and go through, but I got enough up here to go through right now. So, uh, yeah, I could open a store. I really could. I could rent a retail spot and open a store with the amount of craft supplies that I have. Anyway, Thank you so much for joining me, and uh, hopefully we'll have more to talk about next week. It's getting close to Halloween. It's getting close to my son moving in with me. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. So thanks for joining me, and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.